A new advertisement by the world's leading paper company is trying to grow some good PR. The Asia Pulp and Paper Company has released a one-minute ad showing that the company is trying to make up for its destruction of rainforests in Indonesia. We are helping to create a greener Indonesia for our future. The ad claims that Asia Pulp and Paper is planting one million trees each day to help with the deforestation in Indonesia. But Greenpeace activists are calling attention to this seemingly good-natured ad, which they say is nothing more than an exercise in greenwash. Rolf Scar is a senior campaigner with Greenpeace. He says greenwashing is used by companies to try and clean up their image. Greenwash is really the practice of uh, companies usually to cover up their tracks, to pretend they are greener uh, than they actually are. And uh, this, these ads by Asia Pulp and Paper are a great example of that um, because they're just tr really trying to mislead people and make claims that are pretty false. What the company isn't mentioning, he says, is that they are creating a monoculture. APP is planting millions of trees of the same species that grow at the same rate, hardly a substitute for the complex forests local communities depend on. What they are creating is more like a field of corn uh, than it is a natural forest. You know, Indonesia's rainforests are full of a, of a diversity that um, is, is, uh, is not captured uh, when you plant um, one kind of tree for as far as the eye can see. Scar says greenwashing has become more prevalent as companies realize that consumers don't want to be accomplices to their unsustainable business techniques. We're seeing more and more greenwash these days because companies are learning that people do care about these issues. And uh, unfortunately, some companies, instead of changing their ways, are just trying to change their image.